All right, so the brand new DLC for Cyberpunk has just been revealed. It's called Phantom Liberty. We're going to be going over all we know so far about this DLC, its release date, and also the brand new patch 1.6 that has a bunch of new stuff. It's actually basically a free DLC that you can play right now. Alright, so what is this DLC that's coming out in 2023? That's all we know so far about its release date, no a specific date, but 2023. It's going to be called Phantom Liberty. Now, there was a leak before saying how the DLC is going to be based in Pacifica. Well, that leak is pretty much correct. Pacifica is going to be expanded upon in terms of a brand new area. It kind of looks like a huge dome. Now this dome is going to be a brand new zone that we've never been to before. It's going to have basically a bunch of new enemies, new factions, new weapons, new upgrades. Everything is going to be in this dome in Pacifica. Now I don't really know when this DLC is going to be taking part in the actual story of the original game. Uh, maybe not afterwards, probably not before, but somewhere in between. And you'll understand why I say that in just a little bit. Now it starts off with V, well female V actually giving her oath to the new government of the USA. Repeat after me. I, V, do solemnly swear. I, V, do solemnly swear. That I shall faithfully serve the new United States of America. That I shall faithfully serve the new United States of America. Now, Johnny is back with a brand new voice lines and everything so yeah keanu reeves is back with the cyberpunk team for this dlc now he is not actually happy with v saying that it was a mistake giving the oath to this brand new government bad idea now talking about johnny we all remember what it was like seeing him he had these like blue digital things coming out of him now in this little clip here you can see a brand new female character that has the same details as Johnny, but this time it's red. Now, is this gonna be a brand new character in our heads once again? Now, this wouldn't really make sense being in the middle of the original story because we will know about this woman right now, but we don't. So it makes no sense to when this timeline is going to happen. But at first I actually thought this was maybe V because in one of the endings, you take, well, Johnny actually takes over your body. Maybe this is V, but like I said, we are going to be playing as V. So this is most likely a brand new character. Now, like I said, this brand new dome in Pacifica is going to have brand new environments like you can see in the trailer right now. It's going to have brand new characters like this woman, uh, which most likely is going to be like the leader of this area or like the president or something. And also we have the brand new woman. I don't really know what her name is. We don't know too much about her. We just seen her in this clip that's going to be most likely in with Johnny in our heads. And of course, like I said at the beginning, the DLC is dropping in 2023 with not a specific date or month. In terms of the brand new patch 1.6, this is going to be called Edge Runners, uh, connecting to the Edge Runners anime that will be released on Netflix on September 13th. If you guys want to watch that, I definitely will be. Now, I don't want to read every single detail about these patch notes. I will leave it down in the description. I'm just going to go over some of the more important things. Now, there's going to be a brand new wardrobe update, like additional content you guys can see here. There's going to be six new outfits. Uh, sorry, not six new outfits. You can create up to six outfits using the pieces, clothing, um, three new gigs. It's going to be called Concrete Cage, Desperate Measures, Nasty Hangover. You guys can drop that down like that and just read about them. Six new weapons the kappa a smart pistol the senko lx tech sum machine gun the hypercritical iconic precision rifle the vsc 37 the ma 70 hb and the cuba uh five new melee weapons you guys can see them right here these are pretty cool uh cross project uh, cross progression um yeah i mean there's a bunch of different fixes and bug fixes and weapon changes and perk changes and quest changes and open world changes and UI and visual, audio, PC specific, console specific, um, stadia specific, miscellaneous stuff, a lot of changes are coming here. So yeah, this is going to be pretty good. Hopefully this does actually give the game a bit more life to it because there were a few you know problems here and there, but nothing really too crazy. 
like since its release date so yeah this is pretty good a lot of things to go over and check out now actually this is all free stuff so you're gonna have three new missions for free six new firearms for free five new melee weapons for free uh yeah a bunch of stuff to do for free getting ready for the brand new dlc coming soon and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoy the video and hope you're all excited as much as i am for the brand new dlc